the tenth man concept, as used by the Israeli intelligence community, is a strategy where one member of a group is assigned to intentionally adopt a contrarian viewpoint, even if all other members agree on a certain conclusion. This approach ensures that alternative perspectives are considered and potential blind spots are addressed. Several similar concepts and strategies exist in various fields to promote critical thinking and prevent groupthink. Devils advocate in decision-making processes. A designated individual, or sometimes a rotating role, argues against the prevailing view to ensure all sides of an argument are considered. Commonly used in legal, business, and organizational settings to test the robustness of ideas and decisions. Red teaming. This is a process where an independent group, known as the red team, challenges an organization to improve its effectiveness by acting as an adversary. Widely used in military strategy, cybersecurity, and corporate environments to test defenses and strategies from an outsider's perspective. Six thinking hats, developed by Edward De Bono. This method assigns different hats representing various modes of thinking. For example, logical. Emotional, creative to different participants or phases of discussion, used in business and educational settings to encourage comprehensive thinking by considering different perspectives and approaches systematically. Premortem analysis: A team imagines that a project or decision has failed and works backward to determine what could lead to this failure. This anticipatory approach. Helps identify potential risks and weaknesses, utilized in project management, strategic planning, and risk assessment to preemptively address possible issues. Second-order thinking. This involves looking beyond the immediate consequences of a decision to understand the secondary and tertiary effects. It encourages thinking through the longer-term implications. Used in investment strategies, business planning. And policy making to foresee indirect consequences of actions. Critical incident technique. This technique involves gathering and analyzing specific instances of particularly effective or ineffective behavior to identify patterns and underlying issues. Often used in organizational psychology, training, and performance evaluation to improve processes and responses. Scenario planning. This strategy involves developing different scenarios based on various assumptions about the future. It helps organizations prepare for a range of possible outcomes. Used in strategic planning, risk management, and public policy to anticipate and prepare for multiple future possibilities. Dialectical inquiry: a structured debate between two opposing sides to explore different perspectives and synthesize a more robust solution. Employed in strategic decision making and academic research to deepen understanding and resolve conflicts, SWOT analysis with opposites. In addition to identifying strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, participants are asked to consider the opposite of their initial assessments. For example, what if a strength is actually a weakness? Used in strategic planning and competitive analysis to challenge assumptions and identify hidden risks. Cognitive dissonance exercises. These exercises involve presenting individuals with information that contradicts their beliefs to force reconsideration and adaptation of their viewpoints. Applied in psychological counseling, education, and leadership training to foster open-mindedness and flexibility in thinking. Conclusion: These methods, similar to the tenth man concept, are designed to foster critical thinking. Challenge assumptions and prevent groupthink by encouraging diverse perspectives and rigorous analysis. Organizations and teams can make more informed and resilient decisions.